fan belt wise it makes a bit of noise. The, um, the previous saying according to the book said it was making a squealing noise. They tightened up the fan belt. It was quiet around about 67,000 mark. Started squealing again. I sprayed some water on it. Went quiet for a while. Around the 70,000 mark. Started uh, coming back again. And then in the mornings you can hear it. And as the engine warmed up it started to go away but it was persistent in the afternoon or throughout the morning. Um, after a bit of rain we've had about a month ago, it's around the 72,000 mark, constantly there. I don't think this type of treatment like that is a good thing for a belt because that just puts um, misalignment onto any sort of belt edge, in my opinion. If you look at the, the book here, it says that 90,000 and belts should be replaced. I'm, this is at 72,000. I'm hoping the belts will last till then, but if they don't, then I'll have to replace them all. I'm going to take the bottom uh, bash plate off and see what's around underneath that I can get to some type of adjuster. I'll give you a listen to see what the, the sound is making uh, and we'll go from there. This is the sound that it's making. So um, I'm going to investigate that, I'm going to turn it off before it gets hot. I've well, we had a look at the alternator. There is, you can swing it out <coughs> if you undo the, the bottom nut, but that means you also have to undo the top nut, which means to get to it, you're going to have to take your air filter box off, a couple of hoses and everything else. Um, before I get to that, I'm going to probably have a look at the tensioner itself and have a look at that either probably from up top or underneath and see what happens from there. Okay, I've decided just to take the air filter off, have a quick look around, see if I can get quick access to the alternator and see if I can get an adjustment from there. Um, when I got the snorkel put on, uh, I thought they would silicon it up as I'm taking this air filter off. Uh, looks like they haven't siliconed it up at all. Because I wouldn't be able to pull this off as easy as you would want it to. Now as you can see, there's no fucking silicone. So, just watch where you get your snorkels put in, that they put it in fucking properly. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a fucked up motor. Anyway, so down in here, you can see now that I may have access to Fucking torch in there for the start. And there'll be one underneath. And I should be able to pull it out from the bottom, which will then put tension a little bit more than what's there. Not by much, but a bit more what's there. Conventional tools you can get onto the alternator, but um, you, it, you can't find the, the room to actually crack it. So you need one of those um, battery torque ratchets to get uh, to actually do the job. 
to actually to get um, take up some slack on the belt what I decided to do was put a bit of silicon spray not the real good stuff but stuff that has a little bit of lube into it onto the pulley itself but I also noticed one of the idlers had a bit of uh, rust on it and that's why the belt's actually brown on the outside probably see that the brown a bit on the outside of the belt so I put a bit of spray on that as well um, so I'm going to start it up now you probably may hear it and you can't hear nothing now so that's good and that's how it should be Nice and quiet. Um, obviously, if you're going to use some silicon spray, don't go overboard. Just spray it where you need it, and just do a little bit. And, um, and you might only just need it just enough. It's not recommended, so I don't recommend it. Let's see how you go. Thanks for watching.